Apocalypses. ImageLine, the makers of FL Studio, have released a new plugin called GrowSpeed. So in this video, I'm going to give you a little tour of GrowSpeed and what it can be used for. And in this example, I'm going to be running it as a VST plugin inside of Ableton Live. And of course, this will run as a plugin in your own host if you don't have Ableton Live. So what is GrowSpeed? Essentially, it takes the output of a channel, buffers it up, and then allows you to manipulate that buffer using envelopes. There are both time and volume envelopes. And using these envelopes, you can change the speed of playback, reverse playback, jump forward and backward uh, along the buffer, change the pitch, pause playback, as well as change volume. So to help you get your mind around this, I'm going to load up uh, some presets with some sample tracks I've loaded up in Ableton Live. So I've loaded Grow Speed as a plugin in Ableton Live, and I have three tracks I'm going to demonstrate here. One is a countdown, counting from one to eight, so you can hear how the playhead moves through the buffer. The second is uh, applying these effects to drum loops, and the third, I'll show you how to use Grow Speed on a pad sound. So five, this is just me six, counting to eight. Seven, eight. Let's go ahead and one, turn on Grow Speed. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I'm going to use uh, Grow Speed to change that uh, audio as it comes into the buffer and. First, let me quickly explain the interface. So we have time and we have volume controls. This controls the overall um, effect of each. And this is a playhead um, where you can manipulate one, two, three, where the head is four, in real time simply by pulling on it. Six, seven, eight, one, four, five, six, seven. But rather than use the playhead in real time, you get much better results if you use the use envelopes. And the plugin comes with a whole series of presets and to select a preset you go down to the bottom right of the interface and you can see they're categorized I'm gonna I'll select momentary and so every one of these buttons is a different preset envelope for modifying the sound that's in the buffer uh, I also want to mention that you can use MIDI learn to map to these different buttons so you can trigger these live but let's, uh, I'm just pressing them manually right now. So let's hear what some of these effects sound like. So all the envelopes so far that I've showed you are stair step. And stair step moves the playhead forward and backwards in time. If you use curved envelopes, you can change uh, the playhead as if you were scratching, and it changes pitch. Five, six, seven, eight. Seven. Pretty. So you get the idea. So. Using this one interface, we can control all those different parameters. Let's check this same plugin running on a simple drum uh, pattern in Ableton Live. Here's what it sounds like without gross beat running. Pretty basic stuff. So let's open up the plugin. And I've loaded up a different set of presets for this example. These are turntablists. So you can see you can get some pretty insane effects when you mix both moving the playhead forward and back in time as well as changing the pitch. So now I'm going to show you how to use this effect on a pad sound. So this is a chord I've sequenced in the amp using a Vanguard. And to date I've shown you time effects, now I'm going to show you some volume effects. modify the release time and the attack time of the gate. Here's more of that pumping sound, a side chain sound, a little easier than wiring up a compressor to a pad and then a kick drum to fire off the side chain. This is a much faster way to get that same effect. And 
and you can also mix time and volume effects. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on some. Uh, so it's pumping plus the pitch is changing. And if you want to bring the volume uh, envelope to the front, click this button. If you want to bring focus to the pitch time envelope, you select that button. So I've just scratched the surface of what Gross Speak can do. Uh, I recommend you go download the demo and uh, there's a brief couple page description of how this works and how the envelopes work so you can draw your own envelopes and adjust them to your liking. Uh, head on over to modulatethis.com slash grossbeat.html and I have pointers over there for the free demo download and um, to the ImageLine store and I'll have pointers to other articles on Grossbeat as they come out.